Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials where in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make phone calls from your application within the Swift language. Now already in my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Phone Calls Swift for the purpose of this tutorial. Now unfortunately we cannot make phone calls from the iOS simulator. So once we completed it, I'm going to show you a live running preview on my own device. Now making phone calls is really simple to do. And the reason why they're great to have in your applications is because your users don't need to leave the application to make said phone call. Um, if the application was say, let's for say it was for your business and you had like an about us section or a contact us section, you would want this in there, allowing your users or even potential new customers to basically give you a call and say, you know, I want to give you lots of money basically. So yeah, it's quite simple to do. And how we do it is go into our main dot storyboard. I'm just gonna change the size of this um, screen now. And we're going to add in a button, as once we press the button, that will trigger the action to start making the phone call um, to the number which we've set it to. So I'm going to space the button out, and I'll quickly add in some missing constraints. There we go. I'm going to bring up the assistant editor, so I can create the action for this button. I'll just space out this section. So drag and drop it over, or right click and drag and drop. Select action, and I'll simply make call, add that in. Okay, then, so we're all done there. We can close up the assistant editor and go back to our standard editor and then jump straight back into our view controller.swift. Okay, now I'm going to space this out then. Okay, so like I was saying before, it's quite simple to make the phone call. All you need to do is kind of create the string in a basic URL and then get that to open within the shared application of our device. And once it reads that it's a phone number, because we're going to have the short code for phone number, which is the tell, uh, it's going to read that and it's going to know that it needs to open up the um, mobile application on your device and make that phone call. It's pretty simple. So what we need to do is create our variable. And the variable we're going to simply name it URL, colon, and it's going to be an NSURL, space equals space, again, NSURL. And what it's going to have then, oh, we need to make sure that's got capitals, NS URL. There are two brackets. I'm going to get our string. And in the string here, we're going to do two quotation marks. So we'll come back to that in just a second. We then, after that first um, bracket there, we need to do our exclamation mark. And then we do a new line and we do UI application dot shared application. And what it's going to do once it shares our data throughout our whole device is then open the URL. And the URL it's going to open is our short coded URL, which then is going to be linked up to a phone number, which knows it needs to open in the mobile application. So how do we get it to know that it's a telephone number? So what we do is simply put T-E-L, or tell for short, colon forward slash forward slash. Now this is basically, think of it as a short code. Uh, once it reads this, it knows it's a mobile number or a telephone number and will do the correct application um, which is needed to dial. So I'm gonna put in some random numbers. I feel sorry if this is actually anybody's phone number. Uh, and that's basically all that's needed. It will open straight into up into our mobile application and make that call. So what I'm going to do is build to my device and then show you a live preview of it working. Okay then, so here's my device. We've got our button at the top. Once we press it, it will start dialing that number that we set. And obviously because it's not a real number, it cancels the call anyway. But if I quickly press it again, you can see we can dismiss it at any time and it will always return us back to our application, which is the brilliant thing about it. Again, you can see you've got all the options. Um, with how you want to have on your phone, you can go to loudspeaker, you can bring up your keypad, you can put them on hold and mute them, everything like that. You're not limited to any you know smaller features than what you would be if you dialed off your device. It's all fully integrated and works perfect. So that's simply how you make phone calls from in the Swift language. I hope this helps in any of your projects or apps at the moment, and I would like to thank you all for watching. 
Hey guys, just before we click off this video, I have a few more bits of information that I'd love to share with you. But just before I do, if this tutorial helped you in any way, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links will be in the description below. If you want more up-to-date and in-depth tutorials on iOS 8, Xcode 6 and the Swift language, then make sure you guys enroll in our complete iOS 8 and Xcode 6 course. The links will be in the description below. And if you guys want to learn on the go, make sure you download our Xcode tutorial application from the App Store where you can get much more than what we offer on YouTube. Again, links for this will be in the description below. And if you guys want to kick back and blow off a bit of steam, make sure you go check out my gaming channel where we have a lot of fun, play with a lot of friends and generally just have a good time. So make sure again you go subscribe to that channel. But once more, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.